Hello, my name is Thiago Scarton. I'm from the location based service team. And on this video, I'd like to show uh, the new enhancements that we have included in Maxim Anywhere in order to increase the integration uh, between Maxim Spatial and Maxim Anywhere. Okay, so uh, I have divided my screen in two parts. Uh, on the left, uh, you guys can see my Maximo instance running. And on the right, I have my, my device uh, with Maximo Anywhere. Okay, so the first uh, tool that I'd like to show is the layer tools. Okay, so now inside the Maximo Anywhere, uh, you can easily uh, hide or show your layers according your needs. So here I have my device running. Uh, I can easily click on the top right uh, menu, expand, and then click on map layers. When I click on this option, uh, it will load for me all the layers that I have on my map. And I can click on the line in order to show or hide the layer. You can see the status, the status of the layer. Uh, by checking the, the checkbox, okay? If I have the check marker, it means that the layer is visible. All right, so uh, let me remove those uh, water mains, uh, those uh, line, uh, those blue lines that I have on my map. So let me scroll here and search for water mains, here, water mains. So now when I come back to the map, uh, this layer will be removed. So we can see that now I don't have the water uh, mains layer available for me anymore. Okay, so the same tool I can use also for offline mode. So I have already downloaded a map uh, into this device. I can click here and go to switch to offline map. So it will load uh, it will load uh, my offline map. Let's wait for the loading. Okay, so here I have my offline map. So I will do the same test. I will remove uh, those uh, blue lines and those blue lines are water mains. So again, let me go uh, to the map layers. Here I have the same layer, the same list of layers, and I can search for my water mains. Here, what I mean. So when I come back to the map, so my layer uh, was removed. Okay, so this was the first uh, tool that we have included, uh, map layers. So let me switch to online mode again. Okay, so uh, the second tool that I'd like to show you is the map sketch. Map sketch or red line. So with this tool, uh, you can uh, create some sketches on the map and also notify uh, the JS admin uh, to include uh, those changes inside uh, the ArcGIS server. Okay, so the admin can see uh, those changes and include it or not, according uh, if it's okay or not, uh, and can include uh, those changes inside the JS server. Okay, so in order to use this tool, you can uh, click on the top right button menu, and here we have the map sketch. Okay, so when you click on this tool, uh, the device will hide the work or details in order to increase the, the uh, the screen uh, to use uh, this tool. Uh, you can also uh, show 
the work, work order panel again by clicking here on the option and show work order details. Okay, and then that panel will come back. Okay, so let me start to create some sketch here. Let me just remove the zone level a little bit. Okay, so I can start creating points. Uh, you guys can see that I have uh, enabled the measurements. So I can see the coordinates here, the lat and long, latitude and longitude of this point. I can also create lines. So when I create lines, I can see uh, the length of this line. Okay, so I can see here uh, the measures of each segment. And uh, at the end of the line, you can see the total length of this line. I can also create a polygon. And also I have the measures enabled. Okay, and when I close the, the, uh, the polygon, I can see uh, in the middle of this polygon, the area, the total area of this, this region here. Okay, uh, let me create a, a, a text here as well. We can create a text. So, let me just scroll to see, okay. The sketch. All right, so here I have created some, some lines, some polygons, points, and a text. Uh, you can also uh, disable the measurements. You can come here on the top right menu and you have sketch settings. When you click here, uh, you can enable or disable the measures. And also you can define uh, some units for length and also for area. Uh, here I have some predefined uh, types meters, kilometers, feet, miles, and yards. All right, you can click here and change your measure. Uh, so when I remove here the checkbox and come back uh, to the map and try to create a new line, this is just a straight line. I don't have any measures on top of it. Okay, by, uh, by default, the measures are disabled. So you, you need to enable if you would like to see the measures. Uh, but uh, the option is persisted. So it means that if you enable the measures, uh, log off and log in again, uh, the measures will be enabled by default, okay? So the option is persisted uh, when you log out and log in, okay? So you can close the app and when you come back, uh, that option will be available for you, okay? The option that, that you save it. All right, so we can also uh, delete. So let me click here on this garbage icon. Okay, so I can delete. Okay, I can also delete just the measure. So for example, this point here, I can click just on the on the text and then, then I can delete the text and keep the the uh, the circle the point in my in my map I can also undo so if I did something wrong uh, let's say that I have deleted uh, uh, that measure uh, by accident so I can click undo and the option will be there for me all right Okay, uh, you can save. So let me save this sketch. I click here on the save icon. Uh, it creates a default name, okay, which is sketch plus uh, the timestamp of this, this sketch. But of course, that I can change. So then my sketch, and you click on save. Okay, so now it's saved. Uh, I can create sketch and save using online and offline mode, but if I'm in offline mode, 
it will sync, uh, it will synchronize again to maximum when I uh, when I'm on under Wi-Fi connection when I'm connected to a network. Uh, in this case, since I am online, uh, my sketch was created immediately on my maximum server. Okay, since I'm online. Okay, so uh, also you can notify uh, the JS admin user that you have created a new sketch. Okay, so when you create a new sketch, uh, an email you'll be sent uh, to the JS admin with some attachment, at attachments. And with those attachments, uh, the JS admin can easily import uh, those files inside ArcMap and see the same change that you, that you did. All right. Um, okay, so let me show how to do that. Inside Maximo, uh, that is a new, a new uh, Chrome test created with his uh, map sketch. Let me go to Chrome test cap. So here I have map sketch. All right. Uh, I can define some options here about the image uh, because the JS admin user you receive some files and one of them is uh, the print uh, the print image so it, it will receive a PDF with the base map the layers and also the sketch created so the JS admin user can easily uh, see. Uh, that PDF in a device uh, before getting to the office. Okay. Um, okay, so let me enable this Chrome task here. Just save and reload. Okay, since I have just created a new sketch, uh, this Chrome task you get uh, this, this new sketch and send an email to the JS admin. Okay, here we go. I have my, my sketch here. I received an email with the sketch. And here we can see some details about the sketch created. Uh, the URL, if the user wants to open uh, the Maximo uh, and see which record we was, was used to create the sketch. Okay, and also I can expand it here. And here we have some options. Okay, demo sketch, demo sketch lines, and polygons. We have one JSON file for each type of geometry that I have created. Okay, so points uh, will contain uh, the points that I created and also the text that I have created. Lines will contain the lines and polygons, uh, the polygons I created. And this PDF here will contain all, uh, an image with all the, the sketch that I created. Let me save all of them. Let me create here uh, a new folder, the sketch. And let's take a look on those files. Okay, so here uh, on, on the PDF, I can see the image and all, all the sketch that the user created, right? And also, I can use the JSON files to import it uh, inside the ArcMap and create a new layer with uh, those objects. So let me open here my ArcMap. And I can use this tool here, JSON to feature, to import uh, the JSON files. I can select the JSONs. So let me create first the lines. So let me create the, the polygons. And now the points. Okay. Uh, ArchMap by the full by default does not enable uh, the labels 
so you can you need to enable it by right clicking on your point uh, layer go here uh, label features okay and here we can see uh, the measures uh, enable for me okay so the same sketch that I used to create it uh, on the on the anywhere okay so about the notification uh, I show you that you have a, a kind of text here with some date some data and also have a subject new sketch created and then the name of the sketch okay all this configuration uh, you can you can change you can change this configuration include more details and you can do it inside maximum here we have a uh, an app named communication templates and inside communication templates you have the map sketch okay and here we have all the options for that email we have the text here we can include more options by using this editor here we can change also the subject uh, here the options that I can include inside the text uh, send from email you can change here to another email okay and who will receive this email uh, everybody that is under JS uh, admin group so if I go here to security groups and search for JS admin Okay, for this case, I have just two users here, and those two users will receive the same email. Okay, so you can use this uh, security group here to define who will receive or not uh, your emails. Okay, so that's all about Map Sketch. Now let me let me close here. Let me log out. And the last functionality that we have included is the support to Bing Maps. Okay, so uh, you can also use Bing uh, to see your your work orders uh, on your device. So let me go here to the Map Manager. I have this Map Manager uh, enabled for spatial. Let me disable this guy here and enable the Bing map okay so now Bing is enabled and now if I log in back again and go to the map okay so now I have a Bing map enabled for my device okay so just one thing uh, all the tools that I show you on this video layer tools and map sketch those tools are just available if you use uh, maximum spatial as your provider okay so we don't have the same tools enabled for for Bing just for spatial all right so I hope you enjoyed this video and that's all bye bye